then being able to go to Cannes Film Festival, then being able to do a theatrical rollout. Like, it was amazing. Welcome to New Mobility Live. I am Teal Share. My guest is Lauren Lolo Spencer. She's an actress, model, disability, lifestyle influencer. She's amazing. Hi, Lolo. Hi there. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad to be here. This is very exciting. <laughs> you were cast as a series regular in the sex lives of college girls which is created by Mindy Kaling it will be on HBO Max sometime yes. later this year I know you probably can't say much about it but what can you tell us about the show and your character um well I I can say that uh my character's name is Jocelyn um and <laughs> that's probably all I can yeah I, I read online it takes place at a prestigious college. Yes, yes. New so it, England, Essex yes. College. Yes, it, so. it takes place at Essex College. And I'm definitely one of the girls at the school. Jocelyn, my character, Jocelyn, it's really about who she is more so than the fact that she has a disability. And that was one of the things that I really, really enjoyed about uh, being able to be casted in this role. And so what I'm hoping is, you know, when people see it, that they too will recognize the humanity in my character and the fun in my character and um, the, uh, how should I put this? The liberty that my character gets to experience um, throughout throughout this series. So um, it's it's been so much fun, and I I just literally cannot wait for the world to see it. I cannot wait either. <laughs> yeah, I was introduced to you and your talent through the film "Give Me Liberty." In it, you play Tracy Holmes. She's a social worker like you. She has ALS. She's yeah. fierce. She has heart. It's one of my favorite portrayals of a character with a disability that I've seen. And when you look back on playing Tracy and working on that film, what are some of the highlights? Wow. Um, one, the over the experience overall, you know, Give Me Liberty was the very first time I had ever acted, period, in anything. So just being able to have that experience as a first time actress and knowing, you know, what to do in front of the camera, how to portray these emotions and, and then having the experience of when the movie came out and premiered at Sundance and being able to go to Sundance, then being able to go to Cannes Film Festival, then being able to do a theatrical rollout. Like it was amazing. It was, it was literally a, such a special and incredible experience that it sometimes it's really hard to choose the words. You've modeled for brands like Tommy Hilfiger, Zappos Adaptive, Lady Foot Locker, and on Instagram, you gave some great wheelchair model advice. You wrote that your wheelchair is your best asset and to work it. Yes. And I was, I would love for you to give us some tips on how we can work our wheelchairs in our photos. Oh, I love that. Um, you know, the, the way I interpret that, especially when it comes to modeling is I don't see my wheelchair as the medical device that it technically is. I literally see it as like another prop that I would use, you know, in a scene or, or on set, you know? Um, so for me, that would be the number one thing is don't internalize your mobility device as a medical object that you're trying to hide, but more so use it as the asset to how you're able to pose. If you have the ability to, you know, move, your limbs to a different part. Like I like hanging my limb off of my foot plate, like my leg off of my foot plate. You know, I've done shots where I'll have somebody literally come and like turn me in my chair, then cross my legs over my armrest. 
like have fun, have somebody there to assist you. And if you have any really cool ideas, explore it, but just don't, don't be afraid to make a mistake. You created the lifestyle brand sitting pretty to showcase authentic representation of disability. You put out so many wonderful videos on sex, relationships, mental health, fashion. You have a interview series called The New Narrative. I would love for you to talk a little bit about why it's important for you to put this content out into the world. For me, it's important because very rarely do you see disability lifestyle represented authentically? And very rarely do you see disability lifestyle represented in a way that's relatable to all people. Usually when we're talking about disability and life as a person with a disability, it's always surrounded around just the disability and not really around the topics of general life. When we're in relationships, when we're feeling good about ourselves, when, and you know, when we're meeting great people or having a good time. And so I just kind of wanted to come from a perspective that was a little bit more solution-based. To wrap up, is there anything else that you'd like to share with our viewers? But thank you so much, everyone. And thank you just for all the support. Just continue to follow me. There's some other things that I'm working on that I can't talk about yet. Um, but definitely make sure you got HBO Max. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Lolo, thank you so much for being here. And thank you all for watching. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.